we are discussing about the video solutions for gate 2013 the complete explanation for the questions appeared in gate 2013 the topic is electron devices and we are discussing a series of two more questions this is the second question what we are discussing the question given is in the circuit shown below the silicon NPN transistor Q has a very high value of beta the required value of R2 in kilo ohms to produce IC is equal to 1 milliampere is A 20 B 30 kilo ohms C 40 kilo ohms D 50 kilo ohms I am reading the question again for the circuit shown below the silicon NPN transistor has a very high value of beta the required value of R2 resistance in kilo ohms to produce IC is equal to 1 milliampere is we need to calculate the resistance value R2 so that the collector current is going to be 1 milliampere the right answer for this question is C 40 kilo ohms if we place R2 as 40 kilo ohms at that time the current flowing through the collector is 1 milliampere we will see how to calculate this one this type of questions will appear more frequently in gate so this is very very important point to be remembered is high value of beta whenever it is given beta will be taken as very large that is nothing but indirectly it is going to be given as you can easily neglect the base current so high value of beta is nothing but IB is equal to 0 we can prove like this what we know is IB is equal to IC by beta but beta is very large so IC by beta IC by very large is approximately equal to 0 so IB will become base current will become 0 milliampere whenever the beta value is very high so simply we can neglect the current flowing through the base terminal that is IB is 0 whenever IB is equal to 0 the conclusions we can get from this circuit is IE is equal to IB plus IC but IB is neglected so that IE is equal to IC that is equal to 1 milliampere which was given first conclusion and it looks like IR1 the current flowing through R1 resistor is going into base side as well as R2 side but we can neglect the base current so the current flow into R1 is also flows through this R2 resistor that is IR1 is equal to IR2 so high value of beta gave us two conclusions one is same current flows in R1 and R2 same current flows through collector and emitter now we need to calculate R2 value R2 value if you want to know at that time we must know the voltage drop across this R2 and divided by current flowing through this one first we will calculate voltage drop across R2 voltage drop across R2 is nothing but voltage across base terminal that is voltage from base to ground we are saying it as VB VB is the voltage from base to ground VB can be written as from this way this is base VB is nothing but VBE plus voltage drop across this RE resistor so VB is equal to VBE plus IERE VBE for the NPN transistor is 0 0.7 volts and IE is given as 1 milliampere and RE is 500 ohms that is 0.5 kilo ohms so the total value VB base voltage is given as 1.2 volts next we can calculate now IR1 that is also flowing through this R2 IR1 is nothing but voltage difference across this resistor divided by current flowing through it or if you want to know the current at that time voltage difference divided by the resistance value IR1 is nothing but VCC minus VB divided by R1 VCC is 3 volts VB is just now calculated 1.2 volts divided by R1 is 60 kilo ohms the value we are not simplified so 1.8 divided by 60 milliampere and the same current flows through this R2 so that R2 is equal to base voltage divided by IR1 that is nothing but base voltage divided by IR2 so 1.2 divided by 1.8 by 60 that is gives rise to 40 kilo ohms so the value of R2 is 40 kilo ohms the right answer for the given question is 40 kilo ohms